Filled with litter and household refuse, the Mooney Ponds Creek on Melbourne's doorstep has suffered from decades of neglect. I think there have been a few more litter traps put in, but the amount of litter down at Docklands is almost the same as it ever was. But keeping Melbourne's waterways free of litter is not an easy task. Stormwater systems are the major conduit for getting contaminants into the waterways. It's the biggest problem that we do face. Uh, for waterways in the Melbourne area. And the effects of litter on the native environment can be devastating. In the marine environment it can be a problem because, um, for example, turtles often mistake plastic bags or balloons floating in the water as jellyfish, which is what they eat, so they swallow it. Um, it fills up their stomach and then they can't excrete it and they sometimes starve. Not only is the litter problem detrimental to native wildlife, but it also affects the natural aesthetic. On a good day, it can look quite nice, but um, I'm not sure if they limit the amount of water that comes down, but sometimes it can look very boggy, very messy. There's a lot of um, you know, shopping trolleys and things and metal and debris further down. Uh, it's nice, but I think it needs like more care. While plans to clean up the Mooney Ponds Creek further upstream have been successful, down here, those plans appear to be dead in the water. But the experts agree the best way to keep Melbourne's waterways litter-free is to stop it at the source. Um, plastic is something that the public also has to sort of take account of and be responsible for. When they do, when they do litter, it usually ends up down the waterways because it'll be washed down the stormwater system and by the drains into the rivers and then end up in the base. Essentially, we all have to do our bit. This is Mark Barnes for Newsline, Melbourne.